Welcome everybody to Penta Plays Axiom Verge by Thomas Happ. This was uh, actually one of my most anticipated games of this year and I had not played it all year until I recently got it in my indie box in October and it's just been literally sitting on my rainy day playlist for as long as I can remember and I should say last year. It's 2016 now. It's, it's so weird being in a new year. Anyway, uh, it's going to take a long time for me to get used to that, especially with my paperwork. Anyway, Axe and Birds is one of the, like, 60 games that I have on my rainy day playlist, and I've been waiting to play this game forever, and so... Axe and Verge is a Metroidvania darling, uh, more so on the side of Metroid, because this is basically Metroid 3. This is the game that everybody's been waiting for Nintendo to make and they never made and so Thomas Happ was like fuck it I'm gonna make the game and everything I heard about it is going to be amazing we're gonna start out on normal uh, just because New Mexico 2005 I generally play games on the hardest difficulty but Metroidvanias have a, ch a way of being really uh unforgiving and so I'm gonna start on normal if I feel like changing it later we will trace it's charged and ready thanks Hammond starting the pulse now if only it would work this time warble warble swish swish bloop bloop dip dip dive dive whoosh whoosh I love this music I've listened to this soundtrack more than I played the game because I haven't played the game other than now that's weird, the beamlet was completely distorted. Trace, there's a problem. What's that sound? As the building collapsed on top of me, I knew it was all over. My life, my goals, all fruitless. But if this was were tr this were truly the end, if I'd simply died in something, well, let's just say that everything would've been a lot different. Text goes so fast. Oh shit! Here we be! God, I'm so excited. Trace. Wake up, Trace. Ugh! What happened? Trace. There is. Gun. In next room. I'm gonna guess that's Elsa Nova. You must get it. Wait, what's going on? Where are you? Hello? Where am I? Press up to save. Oh, I love it. I love it. All right, so let's get some of this inventory. Instructions, oh wait, oh wait, wait, there's lots of stuff there. Notes, inventory. Is that my map? That's my map. The map that I actually have on my, uh... My wall in my bedroom. Game bag and pig. Alright, so let's just check this out real quick. Up, down, left, right, jump. Okay, fire, unknown two. Okay, cancel, unknown three. Menu, map. Unknown four, unknown one. Drill, lock position, weapons, you. Weapons down, left, right. Yeah, it's a bunch of shit. Okay. Oh, it's so Metroid. So, Thomas Hatt made this game by himself. Uh, and from what I heard, it has tons of secrets. Tons of... It's, bas it's basically Super Metroid 3. Oh, well, Super Metroid 2. Look at all that. Going down. Axiom Disruptor, a high-tech bio-mechanoid bio weapon. Use and lock position. Is this the gun that lady just mentioned? Or did I just imagine her? Sorry, I'm very weak. You must go now, before he finds you. Before who finds me? What's going on? I guess she's gone again. Oh, that's what lock position means, okay. The music, man. Oh, 
Look at that particle effects. No joke though, the music in this game, the soundtrack of this game is absolutely stunning. And this is why I cover indie games, man. From SteamWorld Dig to Shovel Knight, I'll just sit here and jam in my chair. I believe Thomas Happ did the music himself, but do not quote me on that. I cannot be... I'm not exactly sure. I think he did the music himself. Secret? Oh my god, I, the Metroidvania style of this. Like, I want to go up, I want to go left, I want to go right, I want to go down. But as we all know, good heroes go the direction you're not supposed to go first. I wonder if you can actually find stuff in those things. Or if that's just environment. I bet it's there just to tease you. Can I... Can I, like... Oh, shit, no. I was trying to edge sneak. Whoa, oh, oh. whoa. I don't know what I just picked up. But it was a thing. <laughs> Ooh, shiny shit, man. I love shiny stuff. From what I hear, this game is around... I don't know. I don't know what that is. I've heard this game is around, like, 10 hours. That static effect. So gorgeous. I think that's just health. I can go up there. Take it for the team. I just want to see if it's health. It's not health. Oh, it is help. Okay. Just doesn't heal me a whole terrible amount. But from, yeah, from what I heard, uh, this game is like... Shut up, phone. From what I heard, this game is like... 10 hours long? From what I hear, apparently, like, if you're a completionist, which I kind of am... But my, my goal for this is just to play through it, and if we don't get everything by the time we beat it, I'll get my map out and we'll just go through the rest of it like that. I'll just collect the rest of the stuff like that. I don't know where I'm going. Oh, shite. Where am I now? What is this? Nova, firing once launches a fire projectile, large projectile, firing again causes it to detonate. Did I just get another gun? Just got another gun! Alright! 
<laughs> got another gun. <laughs> got another gun ready. That's kind of a cool one too. Oh, okay. It's teaching you, teaching how to use it. things where it's like you need it to get into certain areas. Oh, that's this one. Okay. Exploring. Still trying to figure out if those things actually have a purpose. I'm sure we'll find that out later. Can't go this way yet. Should have been able to tell that by the super overpowered bad guy. Oh, oh that's not good. shoot diagonally, that's the next thing to uh, remember. So we can still go up over here. No, we can't. Oh, yes, we can! Because we have the, we have the thingy. We have our new gun. inside these when they form. Damage? Oh, they won't form around you. 
Alright, there's there's something here. Oh yeah. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Size node permanently increases projectile size for weapons. So does that affect all my weapons then? Nice. Exploring my friends. So that now proves that there are things in these. And that's that learning, that's that teaching. The game teaches you. Like you don't need a ser you don't need a tutorial. That's why Metrovania succeeds so well, is they will teach you. You don't you are not lost. They will teach you. So we're gonna go save. They will teach you whatever it is you need to know for the game. jump or wall jump or something to get up in that place. Save point. I bet it's not just a save point. You're not just a save point, are you? There's something else here, isn't there? There's something else up there. I'm not dumb. There's something else up there. Change of music. Which means we're going to turn around. Because there's a red door, which I'm going to guess is a boss. <laughs> red doors usually mean something different. We go in here first. Wait, what? Okay. I'm picking up what you're putting down. So I can eventually go through this or blow this up to get that item. And I'm guessing this boss is going to be what gets me that. If that is a boss. Sorry. A red door. I mean, red door. Come on. Red door, change of music. I'm going to go in the center of this room. Yep. Crap. I'm trapped. Demon. Whoa, hey, you can talk? Listen, I'm I'm lost. And Demon Athos Athos say kill. Without getting hit. Woo! Give me all them health machines. Come on. Come on. Come on. What am I gonna get? Oh. They're gonna give me double jump, aren't they? Oh my god, am I gonna get double jump? 
Laser drill, a high power drill capable of cutting through rock. I didn't get double jump. I got laser drill though. Which is gonna allow me access to here, okay. Now give me double jump. Some of these red bricks. I can destroy some of them. Power note permanently increases the weapon and item damage. I wanted to see it. You gotta be curious every now and then. So there's something here I can do with this. Something over here. Hmm. I think we're gonna end it here. I think we're gonna end it here. We beat our first boss. We got a new weapon, we got two new, like a new weapon and, uh, like a, whatever you want to call it, like an enhancement, like a tool, an upgrade, that's what we're going to call it, an upgrade. We got two power ups, we got a power node and we, uh, power node, no, whatchamacallit? Look at that. I, I'm pointing at my screen and you guys can't even see it, but. Yeah, we beat our first boss and this is just Erebu, this is just one of the maps. Set reminder? Wait a second. What? I can remind myself to go back to room. Anyway, that is amazing. We're going to continue next time in Axiom Verge. Thank you guys so much for watching. Let me leave a comment down below and all your thoughts and feelings and all that kind of shit. Hope you enjoyed the video and until the next time on Axiom Verge or whatever else of mine you watch next, I'll catch you later. <laughs>